Welcome back to the channel, guys. We are here on Lake Okeechobee, getting ready for the knockout round. Yeah, DC, Mark somewhere over there. Adrian, we all, the whole house made the knockout round, and this is the thing, we all go to zero today, so. What the heck are you talking about, bro? That's the size fish on the catch. <laughs> uh, who sings that song? Uh, Jake Wong. Jaquan. Yeah. Jaquan. Jaquan. Have y'all ever heard that song? Everybody in the club getting tips. Everybody in the club getting tips. We all fishing in this morning, baby. Hey, that's well, hella old school, too. Man. Hopefully, all of us can make a top 10 this time. I don't know. It's going to take a lot to make that happen, but. Oh, hey, anything's possible. With Jimmy Ding. Hey, who's got Jimmy, by the way? I think D Sizzle. Oh, DC got I, Jimmy. I, I handed him off to Vic, so. Hey, he was pretty good luck for you yesterday. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. When I'm running today, I'm just going to throw him right there behind my motor. Hey, these guys ain't talking nice about Jimmy. <laughs> I love Jimmy though. I love Jimmy though. It's all good. All right, so got my breakfast for the morning. My breakfast. When I was little, my dad used to be like, "Yeah, you want some breakfast?" I remember, like in second grade, I told my teacher, "I'm like, you have any breakfast this morning?" She's like, "Breakfast?" I'm like, "Yeah." She's like, "You, it's breakfast." And I was like, "Yeah, like breakfast." <laughs> Oh, I'm tired, boys. I'm tired. Not catching no bass. We gotta freaking catch them this time. I'm looking for my dang sunglasses, though. Actually, I need. All right. The only thing bad about Florida is some of these gas stations that gouge you a little bit on your prices. Hey, we got the Dunkin' Donuts BP on the corner, 250. Hey, we got the Dunkin' Donuts. We gotta get your coffee. So <laughs> they got us on that. The convenience factor of the coffee got me. This is the thing in bass fishing. You have to have a short memory. When my, what I mean by this is when you have things go bad, you gotta be able to forget about it. Things are going good. And you're catching them really well you got to sort of forget about it and realize hey listen i got to continue to work hard so don't try to put that in the back of your mind like well you know i already got to win you know i think a lot of times people just you get that mindset where like oh i already got to win this year did really good you know whatever well how we got to try to go for two let's go for three you know we're competing against truly for me i feel like these are the best guys i've ever competed against it's very difficult to, to to catch a check let alone try to make a top 10 or let alone win one of these we've prepped as much as we possibly can now we have to go out here and uh, put it to work, catch a few bass. Things are changing, you're gonna have to make some adjustments, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. Hey, so. it's that time, go time! Oh, y'all we we're ready to go. He could be my buddy right now, he just can't, once the competition starts, we all know. They said America runs on Duncan. That's their dang slogan. I don't know about that, but it sure is nice to have a cup of coffee this morning. Hey, Shad Spawn's going to go down. You hear me? It's going to go down. Now, the problem is it's happening right now as we speak. So we might have like 15 minutes to catch one. We'll literally be seeing them blowing up on stuff as we're sitting there probably. Now, I'm gonna run some other stuff because you gotta get on a really like a good Chad spawn stretch to really get on it. So we're gonna see what we're gonna do. I got that swim jig, got got a vibrating jig, got a popping frog. We catch a couple of them. Start the morning out right. We got Jimmy Ding siding over here. DC, ah. rocking it out. Let me see that banana, smile. <laughs> All right. Smile. I almost missed the cut. Jimmy Ding, bad luck, he ain't catch bad. He ain't gonna catch nothing. No, we're gonna ride. I'm just not feeling it right now. Don't like the first place. Oh. 
Gosh, that's a big. Big one. Big one, dude. Come here. Don't come off, don't come off, don't come off. Stay down, stay down, stay down. Yes, sir. Four pounds, nine ounces. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's a good one. Two ounces. Yes. There we go. Two pounder. Yes, sir. Got him on that frog. Three nine. Thank you, baby. What? All right, y'all. End of the first period. We got about four minutes before the start of the second. Right now, we're in what, fifth place? Fifth place with 10 pounds. 10 pounds, four ounces with the cut. Eight pounds, four ounces. Okay, so we're not too far in right now. We uh, we had a couple bites, missed opportunities. Um, caught two fish on a frog. Um, my biggest one on a crack and crawl on a swim jig. That's been my main deal all week. I missed a couple on a swim jig. Really disappointed in that, but just how it is. Hoping that I can get it done. I don't think I can make the cut in this area right here. I might have to go and flip a big jig. You're not going to get a lot of bites when you do that. The ones you're going to get are going to be big. So hopefully we make the right decisions in the second period. Um, and maybe you never know. Maybe there's enough fish right here, but I'm not feeling that way right now. I've been fortunate to catch what I've caught. So we're going to find out here in a little bit. Might have to make an adjustment. Yep, pound ten. Oh, dude, come on. That's a big one. Big one. Got her. Male. That one choked me that time. There we go. That's a good one. Oh, there we go. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about, a little top water bite. You have 15 pounds, three ounces. Biggin'. Two pounds, 11 ounces. Yes, sir. Ooh, biggin'. Biggin', dude. I mean, I'm talking about an ain't stud. Holy crap, dude. I mean, I'm talking like a dang 10 pounder. You gotta be kidding me, dude. Oh my god. It's a big and I'm on my own. Come here. Mm. Mm, yeah. Five pounds, 15 ounces. Dude, I thought it was a dang at least a seven. It's a fresh one. Six pounder. Thank you, Lord. That's good to see. That means that big are. Shh. I mean, I'm talking about another stud. Hey, give me some dang. Mwah. Thank you. I'm gonna go find some more areas. They're starting to pull up. That warm night. Oh gosh. Another big one. No, 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 no. Oh. Four pounds, 13 ounces. <laughs> That's like three and like five casts. Like I'm talking big ones. We're out. We gotta go find some more stuff. We're done. Wrap, top 10. We'll see you guys tomorrow. This is so much fun. Jacob, can I give you a score tracker update? That last four pound, 13 ounce bass put you in the lead with 32 pounds, five ounces. There's a big one right there on the bed. See him yes. bumping? See him bumping? All right. You're not gonna see her now. We got your glory moments in though. That's what matters. There's a bed right there too. I'm looking for one of those dodos. Actually one right there too.
Oh gosh. <laughs> Dude, that's freaking guy, you see that? Until tomorrow, find out who's gonna take the win. What's up, man? How are you? I didn't give you guys a rundown after it's all over. We won the knockout round, which is great to win. Pat on the back, you know, all that good stuff. We'll go back to zero tomorrow. And the bite is getting really, really good. These fish are starting to pull up. I bet you've seen 20 over five pounds today on the bed. Two zero, probably five to seven pounders. I'm rolling my hooks in on a couple things. And you know, I ran around, I ended up catching one more. I did have like an eight pounder, literally no joke, like seven or eight pounder, eat my frog. I actually set the hook on it. I was just like, I couldn't help it. Anyway, good day, really good day. Is that dude allowed to film me? <laughs> hey, I don't know. My man Wheeler, he is something else. So, try to go catch some redfish today. I don't even know how many miles we are. We went through two locks, 50 gallons of gas, and uh, finished 20th. You know, not a great tournament, but I heard Wheeler was throwing a prop bait with his hooks rolled in at like 11 o'clock. My man freaking straight slaughtered him. Solid tournament, but now everybody at the house, me, DC, MDJ, we all had solid tournaments. Unfortunately, we can't join them in a, for the top 10, but we just got a pool for him tomorrow. Hopefully he can get it done. Two in a row, two in a row. That'd be pretty sweet. <laughs> it won't even turn. <laughs> it won't even you know what, huh? You can't turn it. Turn it, go, you know what? It did, it went me. It's barely even turning. Sizzle. Tell me, tell me what you think about Juby. I ain't taking it. If you win tomorrow, it'd be a miracle. You ain't gonna win tomorrow. With <laughs> He's in my boat. Go get him. I bet you don't win, bro. Two times I ain't called <laughs> two. I ain't never catching with Ted. Ever. Ever. When I had Ted, <laughs> ever. <laughs> But you ain't superstitious. And now we got a banana. Huh? You superstitious or not? Obviously I am, because I ain't had no problems with my trolling motor in the day at 11. I ran my trolling motor, I'm talking about hard, hard, two straight days of this dirt. In the day, I'm putting around man, 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 at 11. Jimmy, we started at 8. We started at 8. And my I went, Jimmy, I no <laughs> Dead. Go ask him. You not throw him out? Two. Well, I caught two. He's good for two. Unbelievable. Do I need to bring him one or no? No, you're taking him. You're going to take this pain like I did today. <laughs> hey, you won. No, you didn't. No, I didn't. I did. Oh, finished fifth. And I caught two. Uh -oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. On day four? Yeah. Bro, you finished third. Finished fifth. Oh, no, Never caught another bass. Yeah, but that wasn't Jimmy Dang's fault, though. Fuck, this fuck morning I caught two, and I'm telling you, I opened my lid, and I seen that piece of <laughs> And my trolling motor went. How sucks. bad of a day it was. He called me. That hurricane trash. This it's, it's over. Drain it. All right, y'all. We just got up. Get everything to go. Today's a little bit different. The boys are back in the house sleeping. We're uh, getting ready to go out there and try to get after it. You know, with my wife Alicia. Um, she brought Olivia as well. Thank you, Greg. I guess the guys knew as well. So cool to have them here because you know last one we didn't have them here and, and Olivia wasn't feeling real well. So. Just regardless of what happens, just having that support group is uh, is a big deal to me. I think we'll be biting today. I mean, it's like 65, cloudy, no wind right now. It's about to go down. <laughs> I swear it's about to go down. You know, sometimes the coolers that come in our boats, they don't keep our ice all day. They don't keep it a few hours. So just grabbing a, you know, a, a cooler like this one right here, this is an igloo, uh, some zip ties, and I'm gonna sort of zip tie them around the post. That way, there, locking that way, and I'll do one other one, that right there. So now I'm locked in. I can grab whatever I need out of there. That eerie calm before the storm. It is. You see that storm coming too? Yeah. Dude, this is literally, I fished like a Chobe like several times. And this is like one of my favorite places to fish in the whole country. It's because it's so unique. 
you have this big giant lake in the middle of Florida. You got all these reeds everywhere. You run these boat lanes. It's somewhat dangerous, mysterious, because they come in from the lake, which is way out in the middle. Pretty muddy out there. You got clear water on the edges. These kind of conditions right here, this is when it all happens. You get a cold front. Now you got a warming trend. We had a 60, couple 60 degree nights. And it's like, it triggers those big fish in the lake to go whoosh, straight up. I think I had 35 pounds yesterday. I think it'll take way more weight than that. As long as the thunderstorms do, that's the only thing that kills me sometimes. It's happened before, it affects the top water bite. They start to look up as much, they don't look up as much. You can still pitch the holes and stuff like that and probably catch them, but it's just not as easy, so. I don't know. We'll definitely get to the wind hole now. <laughs> oh, Don. You move this. What's that? Uh huh. We have about nine minutes. Good luck today, man. Thank you. Nine minutes to live. There. Say hi, Daddy. Tell you live. Yeah, you go man. see daddy. Oh, oh, live live. Live. oh that's such a nice surprise, huh? Oh, nice, huh? So they surprised me. Come all the way down? She's like, yeah, I come all the way down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good perfect. Should be good to go. <laughs> you're just, I mean, I know you're not psyched psyched fish. All right, y'all. We're about to head out. Wish us luck. We got our chesty, so we're, I'm gonna try to put a show on for y'all. It's gonna take a lot of weight. I already know that. So we're gonna have to catch them. Say bye, Daddy. Say bye. bye. Two time Bass Pro Tour winner, Jacob Wheeler. Out next in the first huh? end, he was out, but yeah. made it to the championship round, representing the. Uh, yay. Oh, it's begun. The rain. That's the only one right there, three plus pounders. There we go. Three pounds, 13, 14 ounces. Three, four. Good female. Really, really been taking my time in these areas. And I just picked that up. Just got to the cusp of where I caught this. I haven't fished all of this, so. Two pounds, zero ounces. Fresh one. Oh. Stick with that fish that still leaves you in third place with 14 pounds, one ounce. Michael Neal caught a two pound, five ounce fish. So he's now at 19.10, five pounds, nine ounces. That's what I'm talking about right here. 
right there. That's that look at Grandma Mama's blanket gave me. Three pounds, 14 ounces. Two pounds, 11 ounces. That's a two pounder for sure. Two, one, lines up. Hold your drop. Oh, it's a good first period. We need three more like it. Catch 60 pounds, we'll win. Maybe. Rods up and sort of analyze a couple things. Got that stuff. Got it good. Two pounds, 12 ounces. Not a big one, but a, but a pretty good one. Caught us 115. How many is? Things are hard. Fish release violation. One, you and Neil have been the only one that's been really catching. Fifth strings are total 28 pounds, six ounces. You're four ounces behind Randall Tharp. Three, two, one, lines up. Trying to be some ain't working that third period. Chewy. No one's really out of it. Get it on a little stretch, get some big ones. I've been trying to catch them dang suckers off the bed, but I can't get that to go. I got locals in here hardcore. And they're fishing? I'm so mad. That's garbage. I'm pretty sure the guy followed me here today. I'm pretty sure. You followed me in here this morning, right? And you come back in? Zero spec, man. Six pounds, zero ounces. Hey, that right there is a dinger. Woo! I seen that fish this afternoon, and then I went back to her, threw that frog over. championship day i'll tell you what that was a lot of fun hopefully you guys enjoyed it i did have an issue with my chesty so this morning i did not have a chesty i had a safety up here so it wasn't maybe the best of footage um you know i try to keep you guys bring you all along but at the same point in time try to catch them bass try to win these tournaments so a lot of fun big thing this week for me was throwing that prop bait throwing a frog over bedding fish it was not happening in practice could not get a bite almost on our top water and then it started to transpire what happened was the weather got cold and then it started to warm up and that was really what it came down to congratulations to Peroznik. he got it dialed in late today and he crushed them third period crushed them so congratulations bro we're gonna go in and see the fam this is the thing okay i'm gonna let you guys know what's up okeechobee was awesome had a phenomenal time but now i am literally driving back to chattanooga brody slept a little bit got some sleep we're going straight to the fish toyota series tomorrow I'm boat 42 for the Toyota Series. Literally just got off Okeechobee right there. There's like, actually the canal. And we're gonna roll out there. So this is gonna be a separate video. So thank you guys so much for watching the Okeechobee video. It's phenomenal. The fish catching was fun and fun. Um, yeah, good stuff. We'll see you guys. Hopefully actually we're gonna do this little vlog thing. I don't know, we'll tell you what's going on. I might even just do it on my YouTube. I don't, yeah, good stuff. I don't know how it's going. But anyway, we're driving, we're heading Chickamauga. Try to catch some bass. See you guys next time.